Welcome to all for uh, the University Day celebrations. Now I request uh, the dignitaries on the dais to uh, uh, move on for the lighting of the lamp. We at Chinmaya Vishwa Vidyapit strongly believe in preservation of Indian cultural heritage and its knowledge traditions and have established this deemed university on the principles of purity, spirituality, practicality and innovation. So January 16th is actually the very day we received the permission to establish the university in Gurudev's vision of blending East with West and combining ancient wisdom with modern science and technology. So we actually originally started celebrating this day as the uh, Founders Day. But as we grow, we realize that founding is just only the beginning to sustain. We need the people. So we are our, our conceptualization of Founders Day now as a day we felicitate and appreciate people who make these things happen. So we call it a university day. A university is a community. Someone's asking me this some time ago. What is a university? So I want you all to close your eyes. Close your eyes. And I'm saying a word and you should immediately think of one symbol that means that connects it. Right? It's a word game. Say temple. What do you see? See the Gopuram, right? Mughali, right? Things like that. Church. See a cross, right? Yeah? Now I say university. What do you see? What do you see in your mind when I say university? What do you see? Building? Students. Do you see building? Do you see the bricks and mortars that makes the building? Do you see the desk? Do you see the chair? No. You see people. You see faculty. You see staff. You see administrators. You see management. But that is only the stula sharira of this. It is the relationship between these things that is the university. It is not the faculty by themselves. It is not the students by themselves. It is the faculty and students communicating with each other in a certain way. When somebody is teaching, somebody is learning. That is a university. I request uh, Her Highness uh, Princess Ashwati Tirunal Gauri Lakshmi Baiji to release Chinmaya's university newsletter, Chinmaya Shri. Education, perhaps, in my very limited concept can be divided into four categories. First level is education itself. Whether it is from the primary or pre-primary stage to a doctorate or post-doctorate, it all comes within that one definition, education. Then comes knowledge. Then comes wisdom. Then comes enlightenment. So the, the three others, whether it is a knowledge or wisdom or enlightenment, unless you are a super, super human being, you would definitely need the guidance and blessings of the Guru. Learning, which leads you just not to academics, but to much greater things, which are of benefit not just to you, but to everyone, not just to humans, but to animals, to plants, to insects, to birds, everything. We never believe that that we are the only super production and all the others were made for our convenience. We never believe that for us to re reach a higher level of elevation, we have to read one book. We have to call God by one name alone to reach it. No. For us, it is a hugely expansive uh, perspective. Akashalpaditam toyam yadhagachari sagaram like different streams having their sources from different places, oh Lord, mingle their waters in the sea. So different paths men take, varied or straight, all lead to thee. That is our perception. That is our belief. And that should be 
our way of thinking. Now let me take the opportunity to introduce Swami Vivekananda ji, who is the regional head of Chinmaya Vish Mission, Kerala State. Swami ji, now it is over to you for a benedictory address. Thank you. And this university, as you are, are all well aware, has uniqueness in that it makes us real Indians. You know, we most of our horrid tradition, great legacy, but what do we know about it? The extensive uh, and intensive branches of knowledge that our great masters had acquired and they had, uh, they had disseminated, although we, we boast about it, few people, very few people try to understand its, its, uh, its extent or its dimensions. It is this university that has given the focus on the Indic studies, the Indian knowledge system. And make, if only we know what our real legacy is, then we can claim to be real Indians, not till then. So knowledge is not sufficient. Skill is also not sufficient. This day skill is given very high importance, but skill is also very, very important, no doubt. But knowledge, skill, and enlightenment. It is when we have that enlightenment, awareness of ourselves, the, when I know my own real identity, it is then that, that knowledge really matures. It consummates, it culminates, it finds its perfection, not until then. Okay, now as token of respect, I now request Nagaraji and Gauriji to do Faladana to Swamiji. Greetings to all of you and I have been there uh, quite some time watching this uh, function and I invoke the blessings of Param Gurudev Swami Tapanji Maharaj on whose special day we got the permission to start this university. It has been given to the world so much especially in the field of knowledge. Maybe in the recent times, it was only recognized for its spiritual knowledge of Vedanta, of Yoga. However, India has been the source of various knowledge and the world had gained from this knowledge, even now continues to get, get inspiration. But we in India stopped valuing it. We were made to believe that really we are outdated. We don't have any knowledge systems. And we were left with no pride for our culture, our knowledge systems. And we neglected it for many, many years. Puja Gurudev's great grand vision now fructifying in the form of our Chinmaya Vishwa Vidya Peet. And all you students, faculty, and those who have just graduated, you are going to be the torch bearers of this great renaissance. I am here, privileged to be here to, to announce that four of our faculty members got PhD from uh, January uh, 2020 till December 2021. And we would like to acknowledge this greatest achievement in the life of a faculty with offering them uh, CVV uh, rank of a shawl. 